Hey everybody, um, my last video was a haul video for April, but this is going to be a continuation for that. So if you're wondering why I'm doing another haul video for April, it's because I went shopping and I picked up some really, really good things. The first thing that I want to share with you is from the bornpretty.com website. They sent me another um, package in the mail and it's some eyelashes and they wanted me to try them and show you guys um, <clears throat> what they look like and they're just like really nice like natural looking eyelashes like that so it has like long lashes and then short lashes in the middle which makes them really look nice and natural and you get two four six eight 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 18 total pairs of eyelashes and they come in this really nice package of which you can see them in and they also sent me a glue too so this is really good they work very good together I have worn them a few times and I like them the only thing is they're very long so I have to cut them to fit my eyes because my eyes are a little bit smaller but all in all, they're really good. If you want to check those out, um, the 5% coupon is still going on until July. So I will leave that link down below along with their bornpretty.com website. Okay, now on to the things that I purchased. Um, I have three MAC lipsticks here. I was looking to get um, just some lipsticks that were a little natural that I could wear every day. And one of them that I'm wearing on my lips now is a luster and it's called High Tea. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this, but this is my first time purchasing it. And I absolutely love this shade. I'm not gonna do any swatches for you because I've taken pictures with swatches and left them on my blog. So if you're interested in seeing that, I will leave the link to my blog down below as well. But this is just a nice glaze bronze color very very wearable you could wear this every single day that's why I really wanted to get that and then the next color here that I have is a cream sheen it's called cream cup it's a nice soft nude pink that's basically all I can really explain about it there's no sparkle to it just a creamy soft lipstick and then I splurged and I went and I got the Nicki Minaj um, Viva Glam Nicki Satin Satin Finish Lipstick. This I, I'm not going to wear every day, but I think it would be fun for the summer. And it's like a hot pink. It has her name on it and all the proceeds go to the women's not the women's, the, the AIDS Foundation, so that's a great cause. Then I went to a, um, a Rite Aid by me and I saw that Physicians Formula had some new products out. So I picked up one of their new Physicians Formula Light Bronze Pearl Mineralized Glow Pearls and you can use this as a highlight. The packaging is really, really cute like a little pearl here um, just a great highlighter it's mixed with some bronze in there but when you mix it all together it's just a really really nice highlight and I usually just put it like right here and around my eye a little bit just to highlight the face and maybe down my nose um, just to freshen up basically and then I was in the city I went into the Sephora in Times Square and I was just looking around. I really had no idea what I, if I was going to get anything. So I finally came across their new Sephora Pantone collection. They have so many things. I, I had no idea. I thought they just had a lipstick until I saw that they had blush. They had lip gloss, lipstick, um, like little palettes, eyeshadow palettes very very cute collection I have to say I got the lip glosses it was a pack of four 
and it was only $20. So if you're looking to just try something for the season and if you really want to get into the, the color scheme, the color that they picked this year was tangerine. So this is what the packaging is. It comes in like covers, I'll show you. The packaging I think is really, really good. For 20 bucks, this is what the packaging on the outside looks like. It's a hard like cover. And it just says Sephora plus Pantone Universe. You get four shades. And they're all like the bright tangerine colors. I have to say I've tried all four of these lip glosses. They are so pigmented. Except for this one right here. As you can see, it's a little bit different shade than the rest. The other ones, you can see that it's such a bright, bright color. This one is more of a glaze. So you could wear this over anything if you just want to give a, like a little sparkle pop to your lipstick that you're wearing that day. But, oh my gosh, these, these lip glosses are amazing. I don't own anything like this, and I'm very surprised for the money, that it, the amount that I paid for this, that these are better than a MAC lip gloss. I find them that they go on so smooth. I'll do one swatch for you. I will do Tango Vivid. Just so you can see like how soft they are. Not only are they soft, but the wand itself is very different. It's very flat. This is the side of it. And then that's the applicator. But they're very, very smooth. I'm not even like touching my skin. And it goes on like paint. The gloss in it is amazing. I, I'm really, really enjoying these. I think these are perfect for the summer and for the spring now, for the season. I definitely did not waste my money on that. So definitely go to your Sephora, check out their line. I really didn't try anything else. Like this is me swatching it out a little bit. But still, look at all that color. They're not really that sticky if that worries you at all. Um, I know that bothers me, sticky lip glosses, I can't stand them. But yeah, that's what that is. <laughs> um, okay, now I went ahead and went and ordered off of Macy's.com and I got the Naked 2 palette. I wasn't going to get this palette, but I have cool toned skin and I've heard a lot about how this palette is more towards cool tone. So I was like, well, you know, I really like my Naked palette that I have the first one. Let me try this one and see if I like it. And if anything, I'm sure I could ship it back or something because Macy's is pretty good like that, I think. I'm not really sure. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to send it back because I actually like this one better than the first one. The reason is why is because the colors are showing up a lot better on my skin. I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion and it doesn't like give a full coverage as far as um, co like covering the skin tone that I have on my eyelids. So when I pack on any color, sometimes the colors may not pop. And I know a lot of people say that you should put a base under it. But I don't like to do those extra steps. I just like to throw on my makeup some days and I and I don't care. Like I will spend more time putting makeup on at night if I'm going out somewhere than if I'm just gonna go to the store or if I'm gonna go somewhere that, you know, it's not that important. But um these colors just really like I'm wearing them today and they just really, really, really show up and they're so beautiful. So I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, I mean it's all over YouTube, but obviously this is what the outside packaging is. It's very heavy, I've noticed that, and it's so different compared to the first one. Like this one's very sleek, um, it's not like, you know, not the, like the fabric that they had on top of the first one. It's just different. Um, I mean it comes with a big mirror again, sorry I don't want to blind you, but this is the mirror of it. And then you get all of these shades with the brush. I have not used the brush yet. I don't know if I'm going to, I mean it's very dense. I think I would enjoy it, but I think I'm just going to leave it in there for now and see what happens. 
but the brush itself too is amazing. Um, what I threw on my eyelids today was in my crease I started off with the color Tease just to like define my eyelids because I need that I have no color in there because I'm cool tone so this is like the perfect color for me when I do that like I usually use soft brown in my crease area and you can tell it's a brown in my eye in my eye crease so this is different this has like a plummy like brownish nude color to it so when I apply it there I'm like oh well it actually looks like like a like a nice crease in my eyes I don't know if any of you have had that problem as well if you're trying to find something that you you're more cool toned give this a try like go to Sephora or anywhere that sells Urban Decay in your area such as Ulta as well and um, try it see if it works for you because I love it <laughs> And then also in my crease area, just to darken it up, I used it the color Busted. Now, Busted is um, a darker color, very pigmented, rich with color, some shimmer in there, but the shimmer is the same color, so it's not going to look like there is, um, like there is like some kind of like two-tone sparkle in it so it blends really well as you can see like I used it right here with the the tease over it to blend it out and it just works really well and then just you know to to give like some nice highlight in here in this area and under my um, my bone area here I used foxy and booty coal which are the two like main bright colors but Booty Coal has a little bit shimmer in it with like maybe a little tiny bit of metallic where the Foxy is just a plain matte white. My, no, not even white, like a cream color. So this palette is amazing. The first colors that I did try out was Blackout. I was like, I don't have a matte black. I don't have a matte black. I definitely want to try this. Amazing. It blends so good the other color that I tried that with was I think verve and pistol so I used like um, this is verve verve is like a nice creamy silver color and then next to that is pistol obviously it's a shimmery um, gray color and then the matte black, which is, again, blackout. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know the names by heart, so I'm trying here. <laughs> so I used these three colors together, and I used that when I went out, and I absolutely loved it. Such a great look. And then also, it came with like a little miniature lip gloss. I've tried it. It's very sticky. I'm not enjoying that, but I'm going to keep it, obviously. And when I ordered off of MAC, um, MAC, when I ordered off of Macy's.com, they also send you like three samples or so of perfumes. So they sent me the Coach Poppy Flower. This smells really good. It smells like spring. The Michael Kors, <clears throat> the Ultimate Fragrance Signature by Michael Kors. This one smells okay. It's a little bit soft, but it has that kick in it where you can definitely smell it. And then I got the Dolce Gabbana the men's cologne and then the women's to be honest with you I don't like the women's but the men's I would totally wear the men's cologne <laughs> I don't know about you but it smells so good <laughs> so I got those um, that's about it that's all I wanted to really show you oh wait actually no hold on one second sorry I forgot <coughs> that I wanted to show you my shoes that I got I went to pay less I normally never ever ever shop at Payless, but um, I went in there just to look around. I wanted to see if they had any sneakers because I'm in need of sneakers for the gym. And I came across these shoes. I didn't find any sneakers. Nothing was really like popping at me. So I picked these up. These are on sale. The original price on them was $29.99 and I got them for $16 and then it was BOGO. So buy one, get one, but I didn't do that. She said if I kept my receipt, I can go back and then get another pair of shoes um, 
that were buy one get one half off. But the thing was I couldn't find another pair that I liked that weren't too expensive and usually what they do is they charge you for the most expensive item and if something's on sale then that's what they do buy one get one half off they they deduct the, the one that's not that more money than the other one so I was like you know I'm just gonna save the receipt and see what happens maybe I could find another pair if they get something in within the week or so but these are what they look like these are really cute they're like a nice high wedge um, I would say maybe four, four inches or so, maybe. Um, very cute. What I really like about these is that, you know, they're cute, obviously. But on the sides of them, on the insides, that you really don't see when you walk because it's on the inside, is that this is, like, stretchy right here. So, I was going to get the size in, um a seven and a half because usually with these kind of shoes it's kind of tight around this area for me and when I walk like it's very painful but I've noticed that these stretch right here so when you walk it just bends with your foot which I think it's awesome and um, I got them in a size seven instead so if you're gonna check these out go there try them on first I haven't worn these yet I actually fell down the stairs last week and sprained my ankle so I can't wear any high heels right now <laughs> Um, I wish I could, <laughs> but my ankle's doing a lot better. I'm just having a really, really bad few weeks. Let's just put it that way. Um, bad luck. But I'm doing better. I'm not sick anymore, and my ankle's doing better. But definitely check these out. These are so cute. I love them. I have, like, a matching shirt, so I think these would be really cute in the summer with capris and a matching shirt, or even, like, a nice tan color. Even like with this would be cute too. I didn't even notice that. Really cute. <laughs> but that's about it, everybody. I just wanted to show you some of the things that I got. I hope you enjoy this because I'm enjoying my goodies that I got here. Um, so I will see you guys next time and take care. Bye. Say hi to everybody. Hi, look. <gasps> hi. Oh, you give me kisses. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is Guinness my boyfriend's dog we've come become very close with each other he's my little buddy right you my little buddy say hi to everybody he's a um a yorkie but he's a little bit bigger so he's i think he's mixed but he just got a haircut so his hair looks different from the last video that you guys have seen him but i just wanted to show you guys because he's usually hanging out when i'm taking my videos right yeah oh he loves to give kisses on the nose right yes you do <laughs> he does that too if you don't pay attention to him. He like scratches your face. Right? Yeah. Say hi. Look. Say hi. Look. Right here. Look. <gasps> there you are. Look right there. <laughs> you're so cute. Yeah, you're so cute. Who's a good boy? Hmm? Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? His ears always go up when I say that. Are you a good boy? Huh? You want a treat? Let me go give him a treat since I said it now. Bye guys.